Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Delhi roads witnessed a lot of confusion as police personnel uh, from traffic and the local police tried to enforce the curfew orders that were given by the Delhi police on Monday night. According to the orders that have been issued, no individual can venture out on the streets of Delhi without a purpose or without being from the essential services. Only people who belong to the essential services, that is either a government servant from the media or any other sector which comes under the essential services can only venture out on the streets. If you are found to be violating these instructions or the orders by the Delhi police, then it may invoke legal action. Commissioner of Police S.N. Srivastava told the print that Section 144 that has been enforced in Delhi will now be enforced very strictly with the police taking action against those who violate these orders. Now we have uh, the Commissioner of Police, Mr. S. N. Srivastava, with us, uh, uh, who will be qu taking our questions uh, regarding the lockdown. Sir, if you could just explain to us that uh, what are the sort of restrictions that have been imposed for people who will be travelling uh, within <coughs> Delhi? Will they need a curfew pass, not need a curfew pass? Because a lot of people have been confused about the same. You see, uh, since the uh, Section 144 order was, was issued, and uh, at some places there was not a, a voluntary compliance that is why we had to uh, tighten up things and uh, uh, the arrangement that we have done made is that all the government officials uh, who are engaged in uh, essential services the discretion is left to them they can move uh, they can uh, carry on with their uh, work and move uh, for the work purposes uh, by showing their eye cards now, as regards the private uh, uh, people who are uh, engaged in uh, essential services or supply of essential goods, they, if they are coming from outside Delhi, then they need to have a movement pass. Okay. And this movement pass, we have made arrangement to be issued from the respective DCP's office. Okay. Uh, those who don't have to cross the border, there is no requirement for uh, for the curfew pass or the movement pass. They will be allowed to move uh, depending on whether their movement is in connection with essential service, essential um, uh, supply of essential goods or something emergency. A person who is going to hospital he is required to go to the hospital because of some emergency. He is not, he's not going to be stopped. Likewise, a doctor who is going to the hospital he is not going to be stopped. He will allow free end, uh, free movement to the hospital. Okay, sir. One more question, sir. If, uh, say, a person is found to be violating the Section 144, what sort of legal action can be taken against the person? A person violating the uh, probability order one, under Section 144 will be penalized under 188 IPC. One, uh, 188 IPC uh, says that if, uh, if a direction has been issued uh, to uh, the citizens and a uh, member of the community and if he fails to comply with the direction, then he, an action can be taken under 188 IPC. So would that be some sort of uh, 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 penalty or would that mean also, would, could that also mean jail? Uh, see, uh, the matter will be produced before the court and the court will take appropriate decision. The charge sheet is filed in, in the court. According to the orders that were issued on Monday night by the Delhi police, a curfew pass will be required for those who will be travelling from Delhi to border areas which include areas of Sonipat, Gurgaon, Manesar, Bahadurgarh, Jhajjar and people who are travelling from these border areas to Delhi. Otherwise, if you are, say, moving around within Delhi, no curfew pass will be required. The officers told us that in order to get a curfew pass uh, issued, one needs to go to uh, the concerned DCP, the police station where their organization is located, and get a pass issued in their name. The details that one needs to give is their phone number, their address, the name of their organization, along with a photograph. The Deputy Commissioner of Police, however, will scrutinize each case before giving out the curfew pass. And if he deems fit that a curfew pass need to be issued to the person who 
say claims to be from essential services, a pass will be issued. So we have with us uh, the Deputy Commissioner of Police Central Range, uh, Mr. Sanjay Bhatia. Uh, so if you could just tell us uh, about the curfew that has been imposed in Delhi, what will be the sort of restrictions and uh, what, uh, will individuals also be allowed to move out if a person has to buy, go and buy groceries? What are the restrictions? Uh, Ananya, the curfew has been imposed in Delhi and uh, the general movement of people uh, for normal routine has been uh, curved down. So, sir, just for clarity, if a person who stay in an essential service, where does that person go for a curfew pass and what all is required to get this pass? These uh, curfew passes can be obtained from respective uh, district DCP's office. One has to uh, go and apply with the name uh, of the person, name of the organization, the address of the organization, phone number and email ID and if possible a passport size photograph okay. uh, with the request for a curfew pass and depending upon the uh, urgency or the essentiality the district DCP office would issue a curfew pass so that the movement of the person can be uh, made uh, possible. Sir, just for our viewers, from what uh, a lot of people ask this question that if a person is say going to get a pass made, then if that person is stopped, can they tell the police on the picket that they are going to get a curfew pass? Yes, yes, we had already instructed our staff that uh, this uh, curfew pass system would begin from 12 o'clock uh, today. Okay. But still, if somebody is a little late, one can still go to the respective DCP's office and then uh, get the pass. So could you uh, also shed some light on the deployment that has uh, been done today on the roads to enforce this 144 because from what we were told that uh, today the enforcement is going to be stricter than it was what it was in the previous days. Uh, yes, <coughs> Ananya, in the central district we have deployed uh, pickets, we are uh, moving our patrol vehicles also, we are uh, doing advisories through the RWAs, the uh, Market Welfare Associations and other uh, community uh, license groups uh, so that people don't come out unnecessarily on in the area and uh, the COVID-19 chain is broken. Okay. Also, we are uh, if somebody doesn't uh, abide by the, uh, the enforcements, we will take strict action. We might uh, register a case also if required and we would uh, of course take necessary legal action against all those who do not uh, comply by this country orders. Sufficient deployment of police personnel has also been done across the capital to ensure that section 144 is strictly enforced. From what we know from our sources is that the curfew pass that is right now required for people travelling to either the border areas or for people who are travelling from border areas to Delhi may soon be also required for the people who are travelling within Delhi. This decision, however, will be taken on the basis of a review report that will be prepared by senior officers on the basis of how the day goes on Tuesday. That is day one of the curfew. This is Ananya Bharadwaj reporting for the print.